Okay, let's start question four. Okay, it says Pete and his friend Roland plan a camping trip using their motorcycles along Cape Town Route 62. This is a popular tourist route passing through the Western Cape and the Eastern Cape provinces. The map on Annex D shows Cape Route 62. So remember, again, we're going to use annexures and we're going to use them to answer the questions that follow. Okay, it says identify the road that must be traveled on between Talbach and Ceres. Okay, so here is the map. Let's find Talbach. Okay, here's Talbach and there's Ceres. Okay, so the road that you're going to travel on or they're going to travel on is the R46. So a big part of this is orientating yourself to what is being displayed. Okay, so answer for the first question is R46. Okay, let's see the next question. Next question says, name the type of scale shown on the map. Okay, so let's see where the scale is. I see the scale over here. So there's many ways of, of sort of naming the scale. You can call it a ratio scale, a number scale, a numeric scale. I'm going to call it a ratio scale because that's how I learned it, right? And this is basically saying that one unit on the map is this many units in reality, right? So it generally talks about centimeters, right? So it says this many centimeters on the map is this many centimeters in reality. Okay, so let's quickly write that down. So it says ratio, I'm going to say a ratio scale. Let's now see what else they want from us. Again, remember these questions often help, help you understand the source you've been given. So don't get too stressed about understanding the map. Okay, write down the general direction from Neisner to Mossel Bay. So we at, we're standing at Neisner and we're going to Mossel Bay. It's very important. Sometimes students think we're at Mossel Bay and going to Neisner, right? But that's not the case. So we're standing here. Okay, let me just use some color so you can see. And is wanting this direction here. Okay, so the most important thing is you figure out where north is. There's north. So we know that it goes like this. So it's never eat silk worms. That's how I remember it, right? So we can see that it's kind of west southwest right it's kind of sitting over there so it's west southwest okay if you're like what is this crazy compass thing she's doing go and learn this please right this is just your um way that we orientate direction okay so i'm going to say west southwest you can write it out if you want you'll get the marks either way but i'm just writing it shorthand okay let's see the next question it says the total distance from Cape Town to Worcestershire, Worcester, I think I don't know how you say that, Worcester, via Talbach is 210 kilometers. Okay, so that's the total distance. So table four indicates the actual distance between some of the towns on the route. Okay, so Cape Town to Paul, right, is there. Paul to Wellington, Wellington to Talbach, Talbach to Worcester. So all of these together should add up to 210 because you're starting in Cape Town, right? And you're ending up in Worcester, right? So all of these little ones should add up to 210. So we know if we want to find what A is, which is what it's asking us to do as the question, we need to say 210 minus 62 minus 13 minus 82, and that will give us the value of A, okay? So it's important to understand what is being asked. Always take the time to understand the question before you answer it. Otherwise, sometimes you just jump on your own thought um, train and that's not actually what they're asking. Okay, so A is going to equal 210 minus 62 minus 13 minus 82. Put that into your calculator. Okay. So 62 minus 13 minus 82, put that in your calculator and we can see that it is 53 watt kilometers, right? Always remember your measurements because it actually represents something in reality. It's not just 53, right? It's 53 kilometers. Okay, so that's that. Let's now go on to 4.1.5. So it says, Pete wants to visit his cousin, who lives along Route 62, Cape Route 62. He uses the following directions to his cousin's house, okay? So he takes the R60 from Worcestershire to Montague. From Montague, he proceeds to Barrydale. From Barrydale, he takes the R62 to the next town where his cousin lives. Study the directions and then write down the name of the town where his cousin lives. 
Okay. So we are going, we're starting Worcestershire and he goes towards Montague. So that's where he is there. Then it says he goes to Barrydale. So he's over there. So let's just draw this in color. So he goes to Montague, then he goes to Barrydale. Then it says from Barrydale, he takes the R62 to the next town. So if he takes the R62, he has to go this way. And the next town is Ladysmith. So it says, study the directions and then write down the name of the town where his cousin lives. So based on the directions, his cousin lives in Ladysmith. Okay, so this was all about map interpretation. Not too difficult, but sometimes can sort of throw a couple of curveballs. But again, especially if you do geography, that shouldn't be too bad for you, right? But it's all about understanding what they've given you. Draw on it, use color. Do you see what I've done? I've made it easy for myself to access. Okay, so that is the end of this question. Let's now go on to 4.2.